Oh man, where is it? Where is it? I see Saturn and Mars and Jupiter and Uranus. But man, where's Planet X? Well, I guess the search for Planet X is on. Let's unbox it. What's up, Meeples? Welcome to Hero the Meeple, where we talk board games and more. Today, I'm going to be unboxing The Search for Planet X by Renegade Games and Foxtrot Games for one to four players. All right, I'm gonna jump right into the unboxing, but please take a second to smash that like button. All right, let's open up The Search for Planet X. Beautiful box art. Uh, I just wanna say that first before we get into it. Um, I really love the illustration on the front. In fact, I'll be honest, it's the reason why I grabbed it. I saw the box art, I was like, I gotta have that game, whatever it is. Um, I know, not necessarily the best way to choose your board games, but I'm a sucker for box art. Sue me. Okay, opening it up. The search for Planet X begins. All right, right on top, we have our rule book. It's a, really it's a 17 pages of rules. That seems like a lot. So this game might be a little bit complex, but there's a lot of uh, images and icons and descriptions. So hopefully, um, it's not as actually as bad as it looks. All right. We also have uh, some promos here. Stellar, what is this? Uh, it's a different space game, space theme game. Ah, okay. So another promo. Um, uh, this is a, a membership for something? I don't know. Check it out. The Planetary Society. Cool. All right. So it looks like we got the game board here on top. It is double sided so we can see uh, standard mode, 12 sectors, and expert mode, 18 sectors. Okay. Let's just take a look at this game board for a second. It's really beautiful. So. Uh, in each corner, you have uh, illustrations that are different landscapes, but different types of um, telescopes, uh, uh, professional astronomer telescopes, like the Hubble telescope and whatnot. That's pretty neat. And, and actually, this board's embossed. It's actually quite textured. Um, if you, you feel these little symbols here in, in the square boxes and their texture, that's pretty neat. Uh, and then we have this hole in the middle, which is weird. I don't know, does something go there? I guess we'll find out as we get deeper into the box, maybe something goes there. Um, but I, yeah, I really like this game board. I dig the, the art for sure. We got these symbols in the corner. Uh, this probably looks like the seasons, I'm guessing, winter spring, summer, and Canada. Oh, fall, yeah, it's fall. Very neat. All right, a bag of bags as uh, has become standard for a lot of board games these days. Uh, these must be the player tokens. We have four of them. They're plastic. Oh, neat. They're uh, telescopes. So they're different shaped telescopes. I don't know if maybe they match the ones that were on the um, game board there, but that's, those are cute. All right, we got a pack of cards here. I'll quickly open them. These are like extra large. They're not quite plain card, but they're not quite tarot card size either. Or are they? Maybe they are tarot size. I know. Uh, let's see, so door plans, oh, the different, again, the different telescopes on the back. I really like that, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see, um, these look like, these are player guides, uh, player guides, which is cool. Ok, 
okay. Well, these look like the um, the player, uh, not mats, but they're like your, your dividers, I guess. I don't know, maybe you keep what you're doing secret because you kind of keep this in, in front of you. So obviously it's, this is the player guide uh, that tells you about all the rules and phases uh, throughout the game to, to remind you. But it also, is, it's set up like a, a partition. So I don't know if you're hiding something behind there throughout the game, but uh, again, I'm loving the art and theme here. So there's four of them to match the uh, the game board and the game pieces there. There's also some, looks like there's a slit or something at the top. Yeah, there's like a slit here. Um, so I'm curious what goes in there. Okay, we have a couple uh, cardboard punch outs. So, oh, so this looks like it probably goes in the middle of the game board. Um, this space area here. So maybe this is like, will tell you, you rotate this and then maybe it'll tell you what season you're in or something like that, I don't know. And then we got some uh, target, to target looking tokens. Uh, these are probably specific to each uh, uh, player, but player specific tokens. So on one side we've got an uh, icon that looks like a paper or a document or something. On the other side we have um, different celestial bodies, I guess. So like planets, meteors, comets, and space clouds. I don't know, atmosphere, something. Cool. Uh, there's a wooden token here. Oh, it's, it's the moon. Cute. Uh, screen printed wooden moon, yellow moon here. And then looks like we got a thick amount of player sheets. This is a lot. I, I don't know how much it is, but I think this will last you a while. Uh, they're double sided. Uh, one's for standard mode, one's for expert mode. So I'm guessing I'm guessing everybody has this and they hide it behind their partition and whatever they're marking is probably a secret, but I like this. Oh, and the, the inside of the box itself is really nice. Um, that's it, that's everything inside the Search for Planet X. Okay, that's the Search for Planet X and everything that's inside of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Meeples, I'll see you later. This hero has some gaming to do.